saw evidence that it was common for staff to talk about detained people in an abusive manner, including the use of racist and derogatory language. There were multiple occasions where staff talked about past violence or future intentions to use violence against detained people. I was alarmed by how desensitised many staff appeared to be towards the vulnerabilities of the men being detained. Dehumanising language was not uncommon, including the repeated use of the mocking phrase, if he dies, he dies. Senior managers missed opportunities to identify indicators of a troubling culture. An environment where mistreatment became more likely was able to develop. There was little appreciation among staff witnesses of the inherent power imbalance between themselves and detained people. Unacceptable, often abusive behaviour was dismissed as banter. I've been particularly troubled by the evidence of some of those staff who remain working at Brook House. Even amongst those who now hold senior positions, there was a lack of reflection. This cast doubt over how far the cultural changes that have been described to me have really taken root. I fear there is still some way to go.